Hey, this is Rich from HouseBarons.com. My brother Dave and I renovate houses along with Dave's son Caleb. And today we're gonna to show you how to install a pre-hung door. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing because we wanna show you how to do a job yourself so you can save a ton of money. Right, Claire? All right, so to begin, um, there are a couple different doors that you can buy at a hardware store. Um, the first is just a regular solid door. Uh, typically, they don't have the holes drilled out for the handles or the uh, locking mechanism or any of the hinges. Um, sometimes they do come with those drilled out, but that is just a, you know, a regular door, a non pre hung door. Um, and then the second is a pre hung door. Um, and that is a door that comes with a door jam on it, uh, which these can be really useful um, because you know that the dimensions of your door jam are going to be correct to the door that you're going to be hanging. Uh, they typically come with hinges and uh, holes drilled out for handles and locking mechanisms. Uh, and today we are going to be doing a pre-hung door. Alright, so your typical door jam is going to be like a three-piece uh, wooden box that your door is going to rest inside of. Uh, if you look on the inside of this, this is what is behind all of the trim and the door jam and the door. So these are just the two by four studs and the header that you're gonna be using to hang the door jam. Uh, right now I've got all of the exterior trim pulled off and the old door jam pulled off and now we're going to be fitting the new door jam in place in this opening. All right, so a couple of tips when looking for a pre-hung door. Um, you wanna look at the doorway that you're gonna be hanging the door in um, and when you measure it, it's whether or not the jam is already in there, if you've already taken it out, you want to get the measurement. So this one, since the jam is already out, uh, we'll get the measurement. It looks like it's about 30, 32 inches uh, wide. Um, typically, you're only going to have a few different options when you're looking at pre-hung doors. This door jam is about 31 and 3 eighths wide. So we're going to have to shim out this jam or this uh, entryway a little bit to make sure that this jam fits in the entryway square. All right, so first thing I'm going to just place this uh, loose door jam in the entryway. As you can see, there's a lot of gaps left and right and uh, up top. So that's good. Um, you'd rather have more gaps than trying to squeeze it into a space that's smaller. Uh, then your door is never going to fit or close properly. So this way it gives us an opportunity to just shim out the spaces and make sure everything's level and square. So there are a couple different ways to start. You can either start by trying to level out one of the sides, which if you're alone, that's probably your best option. Um, what I like to do is hang the top of the door jam first. Um, typically, that makes it a little bit easier for me to get these sides uh, parallel to each other. And it also allows me to make sure that the door, when it closes, is not going to scrape on the carpet or the floor. Alright, so I've used this level um, to see how level our header is. And if you can see the little bubble, it looks like it is not perfectly level. This side, my, my right side, is going to have to come down just a bit. Um, so in order to do that, we are going to use these paint sticks. Um, you can use paint sticks or you can actually buy door shims. Um, but this is what we had on hand, so we're going to use these paint sticks. And we're just going to stick them up in this corner and see if that helps out our level situation. Uh, so then when we lift it up and we're holding it to the top of this jam, it looks like that is pretty darn level. So we are going to go ahead and nail this door jam in up top. All right, so now that we have our top nailed in uh, with our shims, uh, we are going to move on to the sides. I am going to start with the side of the hinges. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to start here. You're going to need a level and some more shims. All right, so it looks like this bottom needs to come in a little bit. 
and I like to shim the door uh, right around where the hinges are because you can always get a longer screw and uh, screw it into the studs in the wall and that'll help just give the door a little bit extra security. So since this door jam is a little bit smaller than our opening, uh, we're going to need about four of these paint sticks. Um, and we're just going to hold them in there and put some pressure on the jam and tack it in. All right, now we're just going to move on down the line and do the same process, making sure that this is perfectly level. Now that we have the top level and this level, technically, this is gonna be perfectly square. So that's gonna be a nice 90 degree angle. So a good way to transfer that over to here is, well, there, there are always multiple ways to do it, but this is the way that I like to do it. Um, I just take a measurement from up here, 31 and uh, 3 eighths. So I know that that is this measurement right here. And now I'm just gonna try and replicate it down at the bottom. And it looks like we kind of lucked out where the bottom's touching right now is going to be right where we need it. So I'm going to go ahead and tack that bottom bit in, but you can see that up here, it's still got quite a bit of bow. So we're still going to have to use the level and shim that out. We can't just go ahead and start tacking it in. Otherwise this is going to have like a weird C bow to it. So let's get the bottom nailed in and then we'll continue on up the door jam. So now that this is all tacked in um, and we've double checked that it's all nice and level and square, uh, another good thing to do is just to make sure that it reads your measurement, um, whatever that may be. So like just go ahead and take the top measurement and make sure it reads that same top measurement all the way down to the bottom. Uh, that way uh, you'll be sure that the next step is not going to give you a bunch of headaches. Uh, before we get to that though, we're going to have to take care of these shims sticking out. What I like to do is just use this multi-tool, make a little ridge and then snap them off. You can use a box cutter or even just break them off or any type of saw really, but just get these out of the way so that you can put your trim on and it'll be nice and flush and pretty looking. Now you can see we've got these hinges. They should be all lined up because this is a pre-hung door. Uh, you have these hinge pins or little bolts that you're just gonna slide through right here and that will keep the hinges in place. Um, now comes the tricky part where you gotta try and lift this door up and slide these hinge pins through. So I like to try and rest the bottom hinge in place and then line up this top hinge and then slide the bolt down. Uh, that's just the way that I do it, but whatever way you find easiest uh, is gonna work just fine. Well, the hard thing about these doors is once you get them off the hinges, they're all machined to be perfectly, uh, like essentially almost no clearance. So the door has got to go onto the hinges perfectly level. And it's really hard to do because you can really only put one bolt in at a time. So you just gotta play with it until you get a couple in and then you can usually muscle the last hinge on. All right, looks good. It's not pulling frontward or backward, which usually means that you've done a pretty good job making it nice and level. Now you can see, door closes great. Got some clearance down at the bottom so it's not scraping the carpet. It looks like we're pretty darn good all the way around. Now we just have to install the doorknob and the locking mechanism. Should be. All right, so now that we've got our door handle installed, uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to putting this trim back on, uh, which if you take your time and pop it off very gently, you can reuse it and you don't have to worry about buying new trim and matching the colors and everything. So now that the trim is up, uh, a couple of finishing touches you'll have to do are, you'll have to go around with the punch, punching all of these nail heads down. 
uh, make sure that they're a little bit below the wood level and then you'll go with a wood putty or something fill in the holes sand it flush and then uh, just do some touch-up staining and that'll give it a nice even look um, and we got our door hung handle installed and closes great now on to the next door we hope this helps you install your pre-hung doors and if you got anything out of the video please hit the like button it helps out our channel and don't forget to subscribe because we have a ton of home improvement videos on the way. Thanks much for viewing and we'll see you in this video.